everyone, I'm Lily Charles. What's up everyone, my name's Aiden, AKA Knight. I'm Cobalt Shriek, and I'm here for Intel's Mod Workshop. Actually, I was a big WoW player before I was a streamer. I did a lot of WoW, raiding, was a guild leader for years, played a lot of League of Legends. Found Twitch through League of Legends by watching some pro players, trying to pick up tips. And then I saw other people playing other games, and I was like, this looks fun. That's by design. Okay, Ooh, that fantastic. was a good pop. It scared me. I wasn't prepared for that. That was a good pop, though. <laughs> like, it almost took you out. Can we get a replay of that? Can we? No? Slow mo? No, I guess maybe. no slow mo, nothing. Maybe some like lightning. You know what? Or I something. thought this is a real production team. <laughs> guess I was wrong. Where's the CGI effect? That guy's on, the fly. on his phone over there. I mean, that's probably why. I started streaming through the advice of a friend about four years ago. He thought I'd be good at it. I thought he was full of it because I'm typically very shy. It seemed very intimidating. So I, I started as a hobby about two nights a week and I just, I fell in love with it completely. It wasn't at all what I expected. And then I've been full-time now for about three years. So it just kind of continued to grow. Oh, snap, it cleared! <laughs> it cleared! <laughs> we go! <laughs> The first COD I ever played was COD 4. My cousin wouldn't let me play at his place. He was a lot older than me, so I had to beg my parents for a long time to finally let me play, and then I found a love for it. Years later, I became a professional Call of Duty player, and then opted out of that during the CDL era, and now I play Warzone every day of my life, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna set it in just like this, so the, so the label is facing towards the CPU. Right, I'm ready. You make sure you don't lock your knees. Both thumbs, mm -hmm. or yeah, you push it down just like that too. Solid push. Oh! Wow. Prepare okay. yourself. And then just push down? Yep, solid push. Oh! See? That was Love a good it. one! There you go. Okay, now give it a good th give push. Oh, actually, that was, oh, dude, that was nice. So my computer's about four or five years old. I was thinking about upgrading within the next, like, year or two. Uh, I've swapped out a couple of parts here and there, so I upgraded to like a 2080 at one point. It's coming to the point where like my, my motherboard and my, my CPU, I think it's like an i7 right now, like a 6700K. It's, get, it's getting there, it could use some upgrades. I don't know, it gets, it gets the job done, but definitely about time for an upgrade. My rig at home is about three and a half years old. At the time, it was top of the line, little outdated currently. This is gonna be a pretty big upgrade. I'm super excited to be working with Roby. I know he has great experience with builds and I've always wanted to learn how to build one myself. So I'm super excited for this upgrade in my streaming and gaming setup. You know, sometimes you fly an SR-71, sometimes you uh, fly a Jackal, or sometimes you build a PC. just started playing more indie games. Um, Enter the Gungeon, Darkest Dungeon, uh, recently Cult of the Lamb, that was a huge game. So just anything like that. I also enjoy stuff like Elden Ring, XCOM, anything that's strategy where I can like min-max and just try to like squeak out every ounce of efficiency from the game. I play a lot of the Souls content, like a lot of FromSoft games, Elden Ring, Dark Souls 3. I have no hit Dark Souls 3 successfully. I'm working on a no hit run in Dark Souls 1 as well. I'm not a horror fan, but my community loves to watch me play them. So I've completed about 15 to 20 horror games on stream as well. I scare very easily, which is always fun for chat. Pretty much any single player action adventure type game is something that I would enjoy playing. And Thank we will you see for you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Call of Duty Black Ops 4 is my favorite title. I love the fast movement mechanics, slide canceling and stimming. It leads to a lot more engagements and staying alive, more skill gap. It's so much fun. Like, I love just interacting with chat and playing stress free and not competing as much as just having a great time. So, it's been, it's been great.